Hello, I'm Artifacts from Mars, and uh, thanks Max Red for this story. Max Red on YouTube, whoever that is. Uh, in Anaheim, California, bear in mind what I'm most concerned with is that we have a liberal here who uh, wanted to denounce candidates instead of sticking, she wanted to denounce Trump instead of sticking to the business of running Anaheim. Her name is Chris Murray, Councilwoman Chris Murray, white woman since she was in, introducing a resolution to stand up to racial mi for racial minorities hurt by Trump's rhetoric. Uh, besides the fact that she is a liar. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. She uh, also caused, perhaps inadvertently, but she caused a big fight between protesters. Five people, including two children, fell victim to pepper spray used by an anti-Donald Trump demonstrator meeting in an American Sandinista in Am Anaheim, California, Tuesday night, this last week. Supporters opposed to Trump's presidential campaign clashed outside Anaheim City Hall where the city council convened to consider a resolution that would have officially denounced Trump's candidacy. Now what the hell are they doing? Uh, they had somebody got up in front of the council and said, you know, what are you doing that for? You're supposed to be running the city, not getting involved in this election like this, and she's right. Councilwoman Chris, Chris Murray did what she did, and apparently the resolution appears to be dead. Television coverage of the protest produced by KCAL shows the af aftermath of the attack with a young girl crying hysterically while being comforted by an adult woman wearing a Make Great America Great Again hat. There isn't any excuse for this. I'm most concerned about the, you know, why we have a city council doing this type of thing to start with, but the crime and the violence course is going to take the headlines uh, which I suppose it should I guess a female Trump supporter lashed out after the pepper spray attack by brandishing what appeared to be a taser you can hear the thing crackling yeah it was a taser all right Later, supporters and opponents of Murray's resolution filled the hall, city hall to weigh in on um, matter. Several of them were non-white Trump backers who testified they didn't need, need Murray standing up for them. But several of the Trump supporters Tuesday evening were non-white themselves. And testified during the city council meeting they need Murray to intervene on their behalf. You work for the people and you're not representing the people. You are representing your own personal incentives and goals. Said one black woman wearing a t-shirt that read, Mr. Trump build that wall. She's right. Later Murray attempted to alter her resolution or move Trump's name and instead denounce all candidates for their divisive rhetoric the resolution was ultimately tabled without a final vote. In other words, it's dead, which it should be. This is uh, disgusting. I don't know. This is just crazy. I don't know why in the hell they're even allowed to do this. And, you know, for a so-called protester, Paul can of pepper spray and just start attacking people like that. That's a goddamn cycle as far as I'm concerned. 
the psycho got away. Three people were treated at the scene by medical personnel according to Orange County Register. So there you have it, more violence. I'm... I let uh, the police deal with the other situation. I haven't even seen this video. Apparently there's more to see in it. Uh, violence or something, I don't know. There's blood everywhere. But the point is, you know, we have a city council woman who wanted to thinks she's doing good by interfering in the election saying, oh, screw Trump. City council is going to denounce her. That's not, that one woman was right. It's not their job. Their job is to manage the city. It'll be a rough ride. No matter who you support, Trump's pretty much got so him up now, I think. Although, he does have the crews and the established Republicans, like you pointed out in the previous video, have Rush Limbaugh for an ally, so... We'll wait and see, that's all we can do. I'm not in a political party, I'm not... I'm, I don't have a religion, I'm an agnostic right now, so... We'll have to wait and see on this. Thanks for watching.